I am am the the humble humble seer. seer. Hello, Leo, and welcome to the humble seer. So in this reading, I'm going to do a timeless love reading. So it's what you need to hear right now. So I'm going to pull a card for the single Leos, and then I'll pull a card for the couple Leos, and we'll get into it. For the single Leos, I'm already getting looking for love in all the wrong places, attracting the wrong people. It's something that's happening there. Okay, so this is the single Leos, and this is the coupled Leos. You give too much, Leo at the beginning you give too much and you need to not do that okay so we have the king of pentacles now this is a couple of things but the main thing is this is what you want you want a king of pentacles leo for the single leos and this is an energy so if you're a man this is just you know what you want a king of pentacles is a businessman they're successful they're stable they're even rich they're traditional and they're very family family focused, they're hardworking. And this is what you want single. You want a a man or a woman that, that demonstrates these qualities, but you're not getting it. And you're not getting it because you're looking for it in all the wrong places. You're looking for it in places that they won't be. So if you're looking for a King of Pentacles online, you're not going to find them. If you do, it'll be somebody that's not interested in giving you the whole package. They'll be interested in your, in your package, if you know what I mean. So you're not going to get that. You're going to have to do, you're going to have to step up your game. If you want to get that King of Pentacles, you're going to have to step up your game. You're going to have to go outside of your comfort zone. You've already got your look down. You look good and you're going to attract them. But the question is, How are you going to attract them? Where are you going to go to attract them? You need to step outside of your comfort zone. You need to leave places and things that aren't working alone. You know, the the, um, definition of crazy is doing things over and over and expecting different results. That's just crazy. So if you're doing things the same over and over, either A, you like it and this is what you want, you want to be in a vicious cycle of a dog chasing its tail, or you don't like it and you need to snap out of it. And I would say it's the latter for most. Some, some Leos might be in that vicious hamster wheel where they're just going round and round and they like it. But I don't think too many of you actually like that. So the moral of the story is you want this You want someone that's going to care for you. And it's not just about the money, although you want the money too. And there isn't anything wrong with that. You want someone to take care of you. And there isn't anything wrong with that. Even though you're capable of taking care of yourself, you still want that strong person in your life, that strong man that's going to, you know, be there when you get home and ask you, honey, how was your day? You want that strong individual in your life, but you're not looking in the right places. So the moral of the story is change it up, change up where you're going and who you find interesting and attractive. Because a Leo likes beauty. So you might want to find the beauty in other ways outside of their physical appearance. Hello. I wanted to quickly interrupt this video to remind you, you can come to my coffee page here. Click on commissions. And if you do a little scrolling, you come to describe my lover. And I can tell you what you need to know about your next lover, what they look like, dress like, or even where you may meet them. So check it out. Okay, let's move on to the couple Leos. Okay, we have the emperor. All right. Now the emperor has rules. And the couple Leos, well, you have found yourself in a rules-based relationship. And you're thinking to yourself, how do I get out of this? How do I escape the emperor? How do I sneak past the emperor? How do I get to go out without the emperor knowing? How do I get out of the emperor always asking me questions about what am I doing? That's the dilemma that the Leo finds themselves in right now in this timeless read. That's where you are right now, Leo. Coupled Leo. 
And a couple could be a marriage of uh, nine years. A couple could be a, a relationship of three weeks, irrespective of the time. This is where you find yourself. You, Leo, listening to this right now in a coupling, you are uh, trying to escape the emperor. Now, it could be a role reversal where somebody is trying to, to escape your harsh rules, your harsh criticism, your harsh way of dealing with them, your unkind words. Now, it could be role reverse, right? But somebody is trying to get away from somebody because it's too much. It's pressure. And it's about to, that gasket is going gonna, is gonna to pop. So, Leo, the moral of the story is to ease up or that person needs to ease up or somebody's going to walk out the door doesn't mean it's going to be forever but somebody is going to blow a gasket somebody is tired of something something that somebody is dishing out in this coupling and they don't have the time or the energy or the desire to deal with it any longer it's not what they're looking for so there's some decisions to be made. There needs to be a sit down and a discussion. And I see that happening. All right. So thank you so much for stopping by the Humble Seer. Do consider liking, sharing, subscribing, leave a comment below, buy me a coffee in the description box below. And until next time, as always, take good care and we'll talk soon. Bye.